Wait, wait, what's this? This looks pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this. I like this one. This is pretty good. Every zombie in the place hit the floor. But say on your mother. Yo, I, I like this song. I like this song. It's a pretty good song. Let's go. I'm on the lease. I'm on the lease. Everybody look at me because I'm being on a zombie. I'm on the lease. I'm on the lease. Take a good hard look at the mother map. I'm on the lease, mother. Take a look at me. Straight flying through the air on a teleporter. Plus and ten zombies a sec reaching out my leg. You can't stop me, mother, cause I'm on some job. Yo, shout out to my broski, Zomraps, man. His shout out will be in the description below, man. Thank you for letting me use your song, man. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Red Flame Thor here. Welcome back to another a pretty crazy video. And today, we are back and better than ever. And today, we're going to be doing another top five video for you guys. And today's top five is going to be top five features removed in Black Ops 4. Call of Duty is a huge gaming franchise that has over a million people playing the game every single day. And sometimes players really dislike or disagree with what the company is doing with the game. So they do give back constructive feedback in order to make the game a better game for other players. So sometimes the company does take account of what the players are saying and put it in the next game. Whether it's positive or negative feedback and try to make the game more innovative and more fun for players. So this is what this video is going to be about and i hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's get right into it okay coming in our top five spot today we got thrusters jump boost and wall running so back in 2014 when call of duty was getting boring and kind of dry they had to think of something new and they were like guys we need to add an exosuit so we can change up the gameplay and make it more fun for our players to play multiplayer thinking it was going to be good they were actually wrong and a lot of people in the community really disliked exosuits and wanted them to get out but instead they just kept on going on from events warfare to black Black Ops 3 to Infinite Warfare and then they got rid of it in World of War 2 but then Black Ops 4 was gonna come out and they were like you know what maybe we should listen this time a lot of people dislike it and a lot of people for many reasons disliked it because it was just really easy to get across the map really fast it hurt a lot of different game modes that were really popular like Search and Destroy, Domination, especially Hardpoint and plus just people just like playing the old Call of Duty, the old type of style where you're just on boost on the ground and you're just running around getting kills and simply having fun. So that's going to be coming in our top 5 spot guys, let's move on to our top 4 spot. Okay guys, coming in our top 4 spot, we got 6v6 multiplayer and making it 5v5. Now personally for me, I think this is a great idea because I feel like multiplayer maps now are just small and players are just concentrated in a specific area just trying to get kills. And I feel like if there were 5v5s, then they could be more spaced around the map and it would just be more easier for everybody to get kills. And by the way, it is really hard to stay alive in Nuketown when you have another person sneaking up on you or flanking you. And I'm just trying to get kills, but every single corner someone's shooting me. I know the map is really small, but I just feel like if there was a 5v5 on the new Nuketown, it would be just perfect. So that's going to be our number four spot, guys. Let's get into our top three spot. Okay guys, coming in our top 3 spot today guys, we got no campaign. Now, Call of Duty's campaign has just been getting worse and worse every year with the storyline. And since COD Ghost, a lot of people just really hated the campaign. So Ghost was just completely bad. Advanced Warfare was mediocre. It wasn't the best, but it was mediocre. Black Ops 3 was absolutely bad, okay? It was just horrible. I don't know why, but Black Ops 1 was great. Black Ops 2 was also amazing, but Black Ops 3 just took a downturn and just was just absolutely bad. Infinite Warfare was just not, we don't talk about that. And COD World at War 2 was kind of the uprising and kind of brought campaign back into the light and would say it was okay comparing to all the other campaigns. But in Black Ops 4, they were like, you know what? The campaign wasn't doing so good. And they were like, you know what? What else can we look for? And they saw the Battle Royale franchise just getting bigger and bigger and getting more popular. So they were like, you know what? Maybe we should get Fortnite and PUBG and kind of make our own Battle Royale with our own style and put it into Call of Duty. And that's exactly what they did. Adding Battle Royale and taking out campaign for the better. So that's going to be our top three spot, guys. Let's get into our top two spot. Okay guys, coming in our top 2 spot, we got standalone DLC maps. Now, you guys are going to be like, wait, what do you mean by that? Now, just hear me out. 
So Call of Duty, you guys already know, has a season pass where you get four packs in the season pass. And in those four packs, each of them has four multiplayer maps and one zombie map. And for the people who don't want to get the season pass for 50 bucks or $69.99, uh, they could pay for just one DLC pack that gives you four maps for multiplayer and one zombie map. And you don't have to pay the rest of the three maps or whatever you get and you save your money but in this case it's not going to happen this year they're going to have to force you to buy the season pass and you can only buy the season pass in order to play all the other dlc and that's what they're doing it really sucks for the people who just want to get one pack so guys for a heads up there you have to get the season pass if, if you want to play all the other dlc maps so guys that's going to be coming in our number two spot and let's get into our number one spot okay guys coming in in our number one spot today we got gobble gums now you guys are gonna be like wait why do you hate literally everything on this list and i'm just gonna say real quick because they're being removed for a reason because everybody dislikes them now gobble gums in my opinion they i just I, I just i hate gobble gums i just i really do they give you an unfair advantage in the game so you could have a really popular zombie youtuber buy so many liquid divinium and get a lot of gobble gums like perkaholic um self-medication and just just survive until huge rounds like round 100 round 200 and maybe even get to the limit of 255 and you see all those people who don't have money and just can't buy gobble gums and they have to grind their asses off just to get it themselves and i feel like it's a really unfair advantage for other people who don't have the privilege to get liquid divinium and and personally i just like playing zombies the old way the old and good way just killing zombies getting to high rounds and playing without gobble gums giving you an unfair advantage okay guys this is going to be the end of this video guys i did hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe to my broski zombie raps his link will be in the description below and thank you guys so much don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video a peace